hello guys you're yeah, welcome back to my youtube channel um today i'll be showing you guys how to um use ads data file tool so if you go to ads it's a data file tool that we can use to um export our data and of course uh, plot the graph using matlab so the first thing i would like to show us today is to how to uh, write data file from ads database and then i'll show you how to write uh, a matlab code or matlab codes that will enable you plot a data file now we'll, we'll also take an example and plot the data file in matlab then we're going to use uh, the matlab property editor to make sure that we're able to format our plots the way we want it to look like uh, but before we get started, I will encourage you to um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already because I will be bringing you different videos that will enable you to succeed in your quest to use ADS in designing microwave devices. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to open ADS. So I'm using ADS 2024. You can use any version of ADS that you've got. This should just work fine. So I'm going to open uh, a workspace, a design that I've already made. So here I have um, a workspace that I would like to uh, use for this demonstration. So now in this workspace, I have designed, uh, I have a dual band band pass filter. Uh, this is basically uh, a work done by uh, one of my students. So here there's a device, there's a, there's a filter here that has been designed. I simulate this uh, design. When I simulate the design, I will get the results which I would like to uh, plot using MATLAB. Just give it a minute, this should be done in a moment. Okay, so here we'll have um, the simulated result for the filter. So all I need to do now is um, use the data file. If you go on the, this, this, this icon here, just point at this icon, it says start data file tool. So this is data file tool I'm going to use to, um, to get the, um, the, the the device sorry to get the the data onto matlab for easy plotting and in case if you're writing um a proposal if you're writing your thesis you don't want to just copy the image you see on ads and put on your thesis that would not look professional but if you're able to use uh, matlab you can have a professional plot that you can use in your journal paper your conference paper and of course your thesis so let's get started so i'll just click on this icon here if you look at the icon uh, that says start data file tool when i click on it the window opens so you can see here that i have uh, this window here so my target is to write data file from uh from data sets so i'm just going to click on write data file from data set and then i'll make some settings here i have i need to change this complex data format to db so i just change it to db and angle okay now i leave every other setting the way it is the only thing i've changed is the complex data format to db and angle now you need to find out what data do you need to write so again if you look at the top here you see the name is bpf2 so i'm going to go here and find bpf2 you can see bpf2 um, with, with the with the extension A, I click on that one. So that is selected. This is the data set name that I need to write. Then here, I'll give you the output name. What name do I uh, want this data set to, uh, to retain when it is being written? I would like to call it um, um, 2P. That 2P means two-pole. It's a two-pole design. 2P band pass filter. And I'll say MS, which stands for micro strip. Now, please, this is just a name. You give it any name of your choice, but I would like to have this name as the name for the um, for the data set when I when it is written. 
So once I've done all these settings, what I just need to do here is to click um, right to file. Okay, just click right to file. And then you can see on this window that it says file write was successful. So it means it's successful. Now, where do I trace the file? See, on my computer, you can see the address here where you can trace this file. So make sure you know this address because that is where you can trace this file. The S2P here indicates that the, uh, the device I'm writing for, it has got two ports. 2P means two ports, port one, port two. If you are writing a three-port device, you will have um, S3P. If it's a four-port device, you have the extension S4P. So uh, well, let's just go and look for this file. I'm just going to close this window, close that window. And then, and then if I go, um, if I go here to my data set, I can find here, if I go to my computer, um, go to my system, then I can see here that, um, uh, I go to my PC, users, then user, so here I have, this is the, this is the workspace of, um, um, I've, I've, I've written data from. You know, click this, open this workspace. Inside this workspace, I will find under data, open data. Here you will see the file I've written. You see, that's, that's the file 2p ppf ms. So now I'm going to just copy or just cut this file. I want to put it in my uh, MATLAB so I will be able to plug uh, it. So I'm just going to cut. Now, I'll look for my uh, where I have my MATLAB on my system. I'm sure you have your MATLAB folder. Normally, I have it under Documents. Just should be there if you if it's installed by if you did default installation, you should have it there. So under MATLAB, I'm just going to place this uh, file there. I'm going to have this file there. So now I have the file. So if I go to MATLAB, I should be able to find this file. So I'm going to close this window. I can also close that window as well as I finish my writing. I'll save and just close uh, or minimize ADS. Yeah. So I'm going out of ADS. Let's go now to MATLAB. If I open MATLAB on my PC, open MATLAB on my PC, I'm going to write a MATLAB code. So I'm using MATLAB 2019. You can also use a later version or any version of your choice. This should work just fine. So let's go to MATLAB. And try to write a code that will enable us plot that data set, a data file. Now I'm going to write the code here. However, what I've done is I've written, I've done a draft code on 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 what documents are. I'm going to show you. So this code says um, um, codes for plotting two pole band path filter simulation results. So the first uh, command there says file is equals the file name. This is the file. This is the the name. Uh, of the file that we are going to uh, uh, use MATLAB to plot. That is the same name we gave at the point where we were uh, writing the data file, right? Now, this is, uh, this is again the format you read. This is the read statement that will read uh, from that file. Then I have figure, then I need to plot S11 and S21. So if you only need to plot, um, the insertion loss or the return loss, so you can plot only SS11 or S21. Anything you need to plot from the S parameters, you indicate that here in this format. So this program is already written. All I just need to do is copy. Uh, but don't forget that this one this sign means comment. This is just a comment line. You don't need to copy this, but that doesn't count as a, as a command. As a, as a command, but I'm going to just copy all of them. I'm going to copy this uh, this code. Go back to my MATLAB and I paste the code. So that should generate my plots. Give it a minute, it should come up in a minute. Um, let's see what that will look like. Okay, it's taking a bit of time, but uh, I'm sure it will definitely come up. Okay, so now you can see that I have my plots now in MATLAB. So this is a plot that is more professional. You can actually change it and make it look nice on your plot. So um, I want to edit 
this plot make just make it bigger so to edit this plot i can do many things i'm going to use my property editor so if you go on to um tools things should be under no not under two if you go under um, um view you can see under view that will have property editor which is an editor that we use in matlab to edit our design to look the way we want it so i have this let me just open the uh, property editor now on the property editor i can do different things i can change the size of the line I can change the line type and do whatever so here for example i'm going to change the thickness of this line to um let's say uh two i can change it to two so now the line is thicker i can also change the thickness of this line so where well, let's just say two as well two okay so that that, that the thickness i've gone from 0 0.5 to 2 so this line is thicker i can change the line type you know this line i can just select this line i can change the line type so now it's just dash and change it to dots dotted lines you can see that how it reflects and also change this one to dashed lines so uh, the line type can change it to uh, dashed lines or uh, with, with dots and use dashed lines you can see that so uh, what you can do whatever you want on this setting and you can see here that your legend is also changing just as you have the changes applied here also i can change the um the the the, the label if i want so anything you need to do here you can do it on this editor so if i also want to change the the, the, if I want to remove the lines, I can go here and click on grid. I can remove the grid lines. If I don't want the grid lines, I can remove them as well. I can retain them as well if I want. You can just do whatever you want. I can change this uh, level. I can, for example, I can write frequency in full. Frequency in full. You can see that it automatically appears there. You can as well change the uh, the font size of this letter by clicking on fonts can change it from at the moment is 10 it can change it from 10 to let's say 14 you can see that this gets bigger you can also uh, click on the y-axis and edit if i want to change this to s parameter i say s uh s parameter okay so s parameters if i if i like and then um it should be in decibels to be okay so again that's just something you can do um yeah there's a lot of things you can do you can even actually you can even change uh, you can play with this you can change the font size if you like you can also uh, use different font sizes you can even bold change colors anything you want you can do it here right so once you finish your editing and you're sure you're happy with uh, uh the the the, the, uh, the drawing or the plots you can easily copy this plot and put it on your word document for example i can just go to I can make sure you select the whole curve you know if you look here there's a point at the end showing that i've selected the whole graph so if i go to um uh edit sorry if i go to file you can see um here under my file you can see copy is clear figure i need to copy figure and copy the figure now so this is copied you can now go to word document and place in your thesis in your paper that you've written in your conference paper journal paper anything that you've written and you want this diagram to appear you can now go and um, place this uh, image there so if i if i paste now if i right click and paste uh, this is what i have now let's go and copy the original diagram from ads and compare to see uh, the difference between both if i go back to my ads now uh if i go back to ads and try to copy what i had there you'll see the difference between both so uh, go back to ads so open the result that i have now let's copy let's copy this result this, this result from here okay so i can even do a screenshot if i like or you know, just copy whichever way that uh, suits you best I'm just going to do a screenshot. I'm going to snip. I'll go back and put it in the same Word document. Paste. 
Yeah, so you can clearly see that I've got both, it, both images here, but you can clearly see that this is more professional. Okay, so you have the legend. Uh, so this is something you can put in your journal paper and your conference paper uh, compared to this uh, image that comes directly from ADS. So once you, this is actually what I thought I should show you guys today, how to um, use data file tool in, um, in ADS. Please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you may want to do that so you can get my videos as soon as I upload them. Now, we have different things that I have in line to show you, but at the moment, I'll just have to pause this uh, at this point in order not to make this video too lengthy. Thank you for listening, and um, I hope you, 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 you keep learning ADS as it's a, it's a very good tool when it comes to microwave design. Uh, thank you, and um, I'll see you in my next video.